The mother duck is leading the baby ducks across the street. Ms. Liu usually gives us a lot of homework, but she didn't give us any today. Playing games on the cell phone is popular with high school students. There are more than 20 clubs in our school. Which one would you like to join? Diane had a bad cold last week. She is still too weak to go mountain climbing with you. The book under Mary's desk is mine, but I don't know why it is there. Last night a garbage truck hit a tree and turned over. Now the street is dirty with lots of garbage. It almost killed Kevin to take care of his baby sister for one afternoon. He wondered how his mom could do every day. Joyce tells her brother everything. She never hides it anything from him. Ben always uses his birthday as an excuse to ask Dad to buy him something expensive. Are you going to eat that last piece of pie? If not, can I have it? I didn't eat much this morning. Everyone in the class enjoys playing chess except Bill. He thinks the game is boring. In my school days, I used to listen to English radio programs every day. That was how I learned English at that time. Tom's voice rises when he talks about his neighbors. He speaks faster, his face becomes redder and you can almost see fire in his eyes. Few other waiters in the restaurant have worked here longer than Clark. Only Lois and Lana started working here before him. What are Daddy and me doing in the poem? Cooking. What can we most likely know about the speaker? He enjoys his time with his father. Which is true about city site bus tickets. It costs less to buy tickets on the internet. Sarah, you're very popular today. I've had 17 calls asking for you. Mike, finally. After all these years of kicking and running, I've got my own fans. So what did they want? My photos. Do I need to sign my name? Are they starting a fan club for me? Sarah, well, let me ask you this, what day was yesterday? Mike, Friday. Why? Sarah, did you forget something? Mike, did I forget? Oh, no. I didn't pick up my soccer team's sport shirts from the shop. And we're having this big game tomorrow. Sarah, yeah. And from what I've heard, it's your team's most important game this season. Mike, okay. I have to go fix this now. Sarah, too late. They've tried. It's not open on the weekend. And if you want to know, they are Johnny, Ricky, Archie, Freddy. Mike, I know, I know, everyone on my team. Oh, I'm a dead man now. Sarah. Yeah, that was what they said on the phone, 17 times. Why were there 17 calls asking for Mike? His team was angry at him. What does it mean in the dialogue? The shop. What can we learn about Mike? He plays soccer with Johnny and Ricky. Animals have their special ways to deal with hard times in nature. The superb fairy wren. One kind of bright blue bird in Australia, is one example. This year, a 10-year study showed that this small bird has eggs of different sizes in different kinds of weather. When the weather is hot and dry, there is less food for young superb fairy wrens, and they die easily. So the mother bird will make larger eggs to help her babies grow stronger inside before they break out of the eggs into the hungry world. However, not all mother birds are able to do this trick. Only those with at least one male child can. When the weather is good, the mother will make smaller eggs, and her sons will bring food back for their baby brothers and sisters from the eggs. 
With her son's help, the mother can save more energy to make larger eggs when the weather is bad. Isn't this amazing? Which is the best title for this reading? Mother Bird Fights Weather Changes What does this trick mean in the reading? Having eggs of different sizes What can we learn about superb fairy wrens from the reading? Young male birds share the job of feeding the baby birds. Here are two pieces of news that Annie collected for her report. Papier-mâché is works of art that are made of paper. In Taiwan, it is known as Zhizha and is usually burned as a gift for dead people. Taiwan's papier-mâché is dying because it is not much needed now. However, this dying art won a Frenchman's heart when he visited the island. He then invited one of the papier-mâché shops, HSIN HSIN paper offering store, to show their beautiful works in France. The shop owner's son also used papier-mâché in a way that no one ever thought of making a movie with it. Stan Lai is very important in Taiwan's theatre. He brought changes to Chinese theatre art of the old days to make it closer to our life experiences and easier to understand. One of his most famous works is That Evening, We Performed Crosstalk, 1985. It was such a smash hit that people became interested again in Xiang Sheng, a show of funny talk between two actors. This art used to be a hobby that only a few people shared, but Lai has opened a bigger market for it. Now it has fans across all ages. What idea is talked about in both pieces of news? Giving new life to old arts that were almost forgotten. What does it mean when something is a smash hit? It is successful. What do we know from the news? People do not burn papier-mâché for dead people as often as before. For many people, having a cup of coffee right out of bed is the best way to start a day. But a report from ASAP Science says otherwise. It says the worst time for coffee is soon after we get up. When we wake up, our bodies start to make cortisol. Cortisol helps us to think clearly and be quick to understand and act. The cortisol levels rise after we wake up and climb to the highest in about an hour. So there are two problems when we drink coffee during this time. One, our bodies will make less cortisol, and two, the cortisol will make coffee less useful. And that's why some of us drink more and more coffee. Then, when's the best time to have coffee? When the cortisol levels are going down, the report says. Cortisol levels are usually highest between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m., between noon and 1 p.m., and between 5.30 p.m. and 6.30 p.m. So if you want to have coffee, Enjoy it after these times, and this popular drink will help you the most. Which idea is talked about in the news? What happens when we have coffee at the wrong time? What does it mean when someone thinks otherwise about something? They think differently about it. What did they think about the news? They did not agree with what it said. Below is part of a new shopping center's market report. Our busiest time is weekend afternoons, between 1.30 p.m. and 3.30 p.m. About half the business of the week is done then. So it would be better if we move weekends best by from Saturday evening to Saturday afternoon when there may be more shoppers during the sale. We should also think about having more free buses during the weekend, as 75% of the shoppers who were interviewed said two buses an hour are just not enough. Weekend evenings are second busiest, though it is not as good as last season. An interesting fact is that business is better on weekday evenings, usually one hour before closing, than on weekend mornings. Most of the shoppers then are people who live near or working parents who do their last-minute shopping. They together make up almost 60% of the business on weekday evenings. It might bring in more business if we open half an hour longer during weekdays, until 10.30 p.m. What does the report not suggest? Making plans to help weekday morning business. 
What does the report say about the shopping center? A large part of its shoppers on weekday evenings are working parents. I know you won't be happy but I still have to say this again. It hurts me to think that you're going to change the way you are. I know you've always wanted to be like those actresses with big eyes and slim legs, but in fact you are already beautiful. What you are born with makes you special because nobody looks the same as you. It worries me more that you don't think you're good enough. But sadly, there's no quick fix to this, not even with the doctor's help. If you don't try to like yourself first, no one else will. People like you not because of your face, but because of your heart. You need to understand this first. Until you understand this, nothing is going to be different even if you have this change. I truly hope you think this through again. Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Windsor was born in London on April 21, 1926. No one thought one day she would become the Queen of the UK. After her grandfather, King George V, died in 1936, Elizabeth's uncle, Prince Edward, became King Edward VIII. Edward had fallen in love with a married American woman long before, and he decided to marry her after he became the king. However, Edward was asked to choose between the throne and his love. Finally, he decided to give up the throne. This changed Elizabeth's life. After Edward VIII gave up the throne, Elizabeth's father became King George VI. As the oldest child without any brothers, Elizabeth became next in line to the throne. She needed to say goodbye to her good old life and prepare to be a queen. After her father died in 1952, she became Queen Elizabeth II. Ever since she became head of her country, Queen Elizabeth II has worked hard for the UK. She has held meetings with important people in the UK, and has visited many foreign countries. In the few hours she keeps to herself, however, she reads and enjoys horseback riding.